Hello, my cardinal signs, Aries, Cancer, Capricorn, as well as Libras. I see that you guys have some sort of communication coming in about a new beginning. I see that right off the jump. So we're starting off New Year's with some clear communication, someone taking action towards a new beginning. So that is definitely good. Um, let's see. Yeah, like I said, someone is determined. Someone is determined to take the, the necessary steps towards this, towards whatever this is. Um, with this, you know, it's like all talk, no no action and it's like you're walking away from that in order for you to be this calm this intuitive uh masculine don't necessarily have to be but to be emotionally balanced and in control as well as generous okay because you may have felt like you were left out in poverty you, you know you may have felt like you were fucked up but now you, just like i said you you're determined to take this this step forward But you may be kind of hesitant or paranoid, but it's kind of like you're still going to do it. Oh, yeah, because you're opening up to a new perspective on actually how to manifest this and different ways to manifest this possibly. Um, this is like your your vision, your 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 investments, your rewards. Like you having a new perspective about your investments. So again, something that you're taking action on. Yeah, and it's money. Something to do with money. And happiness. That's celebrations, happiness. You guys could be um, celebrating right now. Not necessarily have to be because not everyone is out. But some of you guys, this could be you guys actually going to hang out. Or this could just be celebrating, you know. All right. So let's see what this is about, guys. Spirit guys, ancestors, higher self, higher source of life and of light. Please tap in for my cardinal signs and let them know what is going on for their January. What can they look forward to? What is going on in their life? I know one question at a time. What can they look forward to? Okay, never beg for attention. Masculines. Or never beg a masculine for attention. Never beg a father figure for attention. You know, this could be, you know, a co-parent and you're like, you know what, I'm not even going to, I'm just going to make this shit happen myself. You know, that could very, yeah, because look, crying over who? Nope. So that could be a situation for someone, maybe again, not necessarily for all, but it's like, you know, don't, don't beg nobody for attention. I see you in 5D. So this is like in the fifth dimension, in the dream state, next week, breakup. So you guys could be breaking up with someone. You know what? I did see that with my relationship cards as I was clearing the deck to get started. And that's how I initially got to your son. But I, you know, okay. So next week you guys could be breaking up and yeah, because look, don't stay for the kids. I was getting that. Okay, so just be receptive to the message. Okay, so someone could be breaking up here. Um, yeah. This says five to seven days, but this could be like literally in January. Sometime in January, you could make the decision to not even stay for the kids. Okay, so yeah, just like I was saying. It's like you're begging the, the father figure to be around the kids or to, to you know, give you attention. But it's like, no, you don't even have to stay there for the kids. There's new beginnings. You just need time to heal. But there's new beginnings coming this new year. There's all new beginnings. I'm not sure exactly who this is for or what this is about. 
but I am definitely picking up real heavy on this message because at this point now I'm starting to sweat. So I definitely am reading for somebody. Okay, so what other messages does the cardinal signs need to know? Okay, I need space. Ocean breeze, smoke till you choke. You smell so good, deja vu, kindness comes from within. Okay, so I take this literally as like telling someone, look, I just need to, to just take a break. I need to like cleanse myself, cleanse, like clear my mind. You could be like saging. Um, this, I really am picking up like a meditative meditation sort of state with this energy here you guys could be hearing a compliment or you could have yeah you guys could be hearing a compliment and you're going to be like damn she said that and i want you to know that kindness comes from within it is not giving to you by someone else regardless if you have children or not get this space to get your mind right to cleanse your energy to cleanse your atmosphere and the ocean breeze, listening to those those frequencies will help you be able to, you know, to get a better picture on what it is to do and, you know, like how to go. Okay, so what else for my cardinal signs? Also, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, no cap, I've seen the relationship is completely over with. But I will get to that. That's just, you know, if anybody's on the edge of their seat, like, okay, what is it? What is it? What is it? There it is. Go ahead and put it out there. But like I said, we're going to clarify. That was just what I seen as I was shuffling the energy before I even got started. What I tell you, you, this is clearly meditative energy. I clearly got that. Clearly got that. <laughs> All right, sir. Like it's like you gotta cleanse your energy so you're not bitchy and you're no like not so tight and be able to operate in kindness, not out of the pain and you know all of that shit. It look because you're hurting the kids with the toxic shit. Oh my god! <laughs> I can only say this because I I had to learn this, y'all. Oh. Look, I had to learn how to find inner peace. I swear. Look, express yourself to your mate. Like, tell your mate that you need to separate so that you can find inner peace. Like, and, you know, let them know, like, how it is affecting the kids. You're getting evidence right now. This is strictly for you. Staying is risky. You have to open yourself to love and, you know, be loving and caring and gentle to others. Your family may be cursed by the karmic. They, you know, could just be sending evil as energy towards your family. And that could be, you know, because your person was open to loving you and others and that was what was risky and so now you're getting evidence of all of this hence the smoke till you choke like i said the the saging cleansing the energy this person is possibly sleeping around because they need this fatherhood healing or you could need father as the the feminine you could need fatherhood healing as to why you're you're settling in the toxic atmosphere why you find comfort oh look i see rummy my money so somebody is like <laughs> bitch rummy my money you some bullshit <laughs> protection okay protection so i think if you just be on a money basis you know like just give me the money to take care of the kids to make sure the kids good then we're good so maybe that's what I'm kind of getting from this. Okay, rummy my money. Lack of control. You mean the world to me. Walk by faith. Back massage.
Yeah, so exactly like I said, it's like this this person is I'm not it's like it's not clicking. So you're just like, nope, you can't, you know, you can't do this. So just just run me my money. Just run me my money and I'm gonna just walk by faith and just know that my spirit guys are gonna protect me, like literally everything I just said. Wow. Okay, what else? I'm going under. So someone's going under the dark night of the soul. Because something is played the fuck out. And now karma is motherfucking brewing. So they don't have a choice but to go through the dark night of the soul. Netflix and chill. Your eyes make me weak. So this could be someone going to kick it with somebody. Maybe Netflix and chill. And then it turned into something else. And now karma is brewing. Because look, you traded a diamond for a rock. So yeah, it's either that. Or um, like you guys could have been chilling, maybe watching a movie. And then it turned into physical, like a physical altercation. And you're like, you know what? I ain't got time for this. You know, you got your own issues going on here. You spirit guys still got to deal with you. You fucked up when you lost me because I'm the one that's going to grow out of the mud. I'm going to heal these old wounds in order to generate healing. Chiron is how you heal. Look at your birth chart and look for this logo right here. Look for Chiron. That's definitely going to tell you what, um, what parts that you are needing to heal in your life. Like what area you're supposed to look at, what signs, you know. Okay, so that is a very direct message to pop out motherfucking 2022 with, baby, because we don't want to say anything that is not for our highest good, okay? Nothing of our highest good. We do not give a fuck what it costs. By all means necessary, baby, keep the bullshit away. Because, look, that's the bullshit. The, the gas, I said, keep the bullshit away. And that shit fell all the way over here. Not showing their true feelings. Keep that bullshit away. So somebody is not showing their true feelings. Somebody is gaslighting and pretending. Keep that bullshit away. I don't know who it is. You apply the energies wherever. But somebody is not showing their true feelings. But then they're steady looking at pictures and missing you. Like, come on with the toxic shit. Twin flame. Okay. What message do you have for this twin flame connection? Stabbed in the back. Separation. Deception. Shocking attack. Like I said... Oh my God, now that I think about it, this did fall out. Okay, so you guys may have already gotten into a fight. If not, then this fight could very well happen. So definitely before, leave before it, and that was 13.33 on the clock, 3.33. This is a reason for me to be saying this. Do not, especially with... This being New Year's, people getting drunk and all that stuff. Like, y'all, please be extra careful. I'm going to try not to make this video long so I can get it out to everybody that needs to hear this. Because this, like I said, I was cleansing the energy and I was getting a message and I was like, okay, who the fuck is this for? And then it fell out. So I'm like, okay, 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 let's go ahead and get it out. So, yeah, because look, the dragonfly fell out. Being lighthearted, finding out, things coming to light, adapt, change, or heal. So you may be finding out that your person was doing something, then y'all may get into an argument. Like, you may find out that they was going to be with somebody else. Or, you know, if this has already happened, and then now they're just, they're a runner, so they're not showing their true feelings. The fear of intimacy, running in a codependent relationship. You guys could be engaged, but it's fucked up right now. Or married. Yeah, because they're not satisfied. So, you know, it could be a ring somewhere involved. And you have this distorted masculine. 
Oh, jeez. Um, twin flame. Twin flame. You will be receiving what you need if you are having closure issues. Then you will be able to get your closure issues. You will be able to move forward. Yeah. To transcend those obstacles that has come your way. Or that are in your way right now. One more. Passion. Liking each other equally or having fun. Okay. Let's see. That's a complete twist. So let's see. Impact and a narcissist being charmed or used. Oh, so the motherfucker gonna try to come back in on some sexual shit. But they're just using you. Okay. I told y'all. I told y'all from the motherfucking jump before I even got started with this. I said let this shit be over with. Even if this already happened and they trying to come back. Don't fucking allow it. Look. if the, Even if they try to come back. Mm -mm. I feel like y'all are going to be meeting someone new. Once you open your heart, like it said, heal so that you can like receiving what you need so that you can transcend from the bullshit that you were just going through in order to welcome in love from someone else. Maybe going to your twin flame. <coughs> yeah, having fun, happily single, focusing on yourself, and then healing your inner child in order for you to grow. So, yeah, exactly what I was saying. Taking that, that's why it kept saying a need time to heal. So it's like you're you're maybe telling your person, you know, like your twin flame or, you know, maybe once you come in contact with your twin flame and you're just like, ah, I don't know, just hang on. Maybe I just need more time to heal. But I feel like this twin flame is coming in. Look, that karmic's still going to be trying to come in as well. But there's, you done found out about it. You done found out that this person has a block. And that this motherfucking twin flame about to come in. And like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Do not be letting nobody put their goddamn hands on you. I don't know what the fuck wrong with these folks. All right, and what else for my cardinal signs? Cardinal signs, cardinal signs, cardinal signs. Yeah, like I said, losing your head, absent father. So I feel like this masculine is really going to lose his shit, y'all. Lack structure, cold, ruthless, chaos, divorce, abuse, natural disaster, charity, support, wealth, rewards, releasing pain, refusing to let go. Good news, self doubt, unfair blame, karmic, and soulmates. He may have been causing. So say, for instance, you were telling him that he was going to be with someone else and he was saying that was unfair. Yeah, word of mouth saying that that was unfair.
I feel like if you guys were married, then you guys are going to get a divorce. And then that's when you're going to be able to release that pain. And you're going to be valued in life. And as well as the soulmate connection coming in, like I said. All right, let's see. Follow your heart. Follow your belief. Towards the victory. Even if you have a lack of faith, continue to push towards nothing but the greatest. Then social services could get involved. This is a whole dysfunctional home, so we need to get this shit together. Escape. Escape while you can fucking survive. Freedom. Take control of your life. Because somebody is really reckless and is causing an imbalance. Dependent, prostitute, mischance, left out in the cold. So this person was possibly sleeping with a prostitute. Juggling, yeah. And then you were the loyal one making dreams come true, ambitious, persistent, maybe a little stubborn. <laughs> but I see someone that's wise and loyal, and then I see someone that's that's cheating. <coughs> Some of the way it goes, just all, all unhealthy. But your hard work is going to pay off. You may not be able to see the truth that someone's um, loyalty is divided. But motherfuckers about to get caught. And there was just all twos straight across the goddamn screen. Two, 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 two. So... Let's see what else, what else, what else, dear guys, do you have for my cardinal signs for January? What is going on in January for my cardinal signs? What's going on? Whoa. Life isn't as good as it seems. You do something them girls can't do. So your person may be, like I said, coming back in, like, look, life isn't as good as it seems since I, you know, since I left you, you know, I can't find you and anyone else. But like I said, time heals all because you're still able to see the pain, the bullshit, the, all that bullshit that they have done. You are needing to chill, take a spiritual bath to release. That's another way that's, um, I also just heard cord cutting. So that is a way to cut cords with this person. If you love to read, write, or learn, this is something, a spiritual bath is something really good in order for you to learn. And today is the first, so it's really good for you to start off the day or to start off the year cleansed. Listen to your intuition. Replace them fast. So... If you weren't checking in to see how you're doing, then big events will disturb your peace. Exactly like I've been saying. So I'm going to wrap this up here because I don't feel like the need in, you know, trying to continue to push because that shit's pretty fucking clear. So I love you guys. I hope that this message is able to maybe same sex relationship doesn't necessarily have to be. But if it is, definitely. Um definitely 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 um get a spiritual bath cleanse your energy get your shit together because yeah anyways i pray that this message reached every soul that it's intended to may it be a blessing upon your life please leave in any and every sort of toxic situation um leave while you can always know that you can listen to your intuition know that the most high will always provide for you 
Look, never like someone more than they like you. Never fuck with somebody more than they fuck with you. Your intuition is telling you that. Listen to it. Listen to meditation music. So just like I was saying at the beginning, the ocean waves, the sounds, the, the frequencies. You don't love me like you used to. That's going to help you see that this person doesn't love you like they used to. The illusion of time, how much time y'all have spent doesn't mean shit. When spirit is sick of it, they are going to send you a sign. Can I hit it in the morning? So y'all may be fighting in the morning. It may be thundering and lightning whenever this happens. Trust everyone to be themselves, but trust in the fact that you can see through them well. Again, listen to your intuition. You already see what's going on. When you take that spiritual bath, you will not be sorry. You will feel it. You will feel the difference. Maybe shopping will actually help whenever things get hard. Stay ready. Have your shit packed. So, you know, if you just in case, if you're trying to leave like in the morning time, you know, some shit like that, maybe like say that you're going shopping, but really like pack your shit. Okay. I don't know why I'm kind of like feeling like I'm supposed to help someone with an escape plan here. But, you know, if you say, if that's something, you know, if your, your intuition is telling you, you know, I can't just leave, you know, you know what type of situation you're in. So, you know, if you're going to have to put up a fight, if you try to leave, then, you know, just say that you're going shopping and then maybe put some, some bags in the car and, you know, just say, oh, this is the baby bag or, you know, something in that nature. Just so y'all can take the fuck off just enough to get you by or whatever. I don't know, but somebody got some mommy and daddy issues and I am hoping that yeah look mental health check i am hoping that you guys are able to go within and to get help go be with your family say a affirmation that is i hold intentional space for relaxing releasing and reflecting this is a good affirmation for you to say while you're taking your spiritual bath spiritual bath can consist of i know i just said i was cutting this off <laughs> Spiritual bath can consist of Epsom salt, sea salt. Um, you can incorporate plenty of different herbs, whatever different herbs that you may have in your kitchen. You know who you are and what you are capable of. You know that you are capable of taking care of everything without the low vibrating bullshit bringing you down. Okay. Okay. I love y'all and I'm done preaching now. Happy New Year's. No fucking fighting in front of kids.